for which of the following functions does the second derivative of y with respect to x equal the first derivative of y with respect to x? And we'll take this one at a time. So let's first look at this first one here, where y is the cosine of x. And let's take its first derivative. So dy dx, or y prime, would be equal to minus the sine of x. And if we take its derivative again, the second derivative of y with respect to x, we get minus the cosine of x. And you can clearly see that this first derivative and the second derivative aren't equal. After canceling the negative signs, we have sine x is equal to the cosine of x. So this one's not right. And for y is equal to e to the x, e to the x is that special function in mathematics that when you take its derivative, it's just equal to the function. So the first derivative is just e to the x. The second derivative is e to the x. And any number of derivatives of this function, you're still going to get back e to the x. So this one, it's true that the first and second derivatives are equal. Now let's try for e to the minus x. If we took its first derivative, we'll have to use the chain rule. So the derivative of e to anything is just equal to e to that power, and then we'll have to multiply by the derivative of this inside function, essentially. And the derivative of minus x is just negative 1. So we're left with minus e to the minus x. And let's take its derivative again. So we have the second derivative of y with respect to x of this e to the minus x. And again, the derivative of e to whatever power is just equal to that e to that exponent. And the negative sign is just a constant, so it'll carry along. And we have e to the minus x. And then we have to multiply by the derivative of this inside function here, which again is minus 1. So the second derivative of e to the minus x, these negative signs would cancel, and we're left with e to the minus x. And you can see that e to the minus x is not equal to minus e to the minus x. So in other words, the first and second derivatives here aren't equal. So the only function where it's true that the first and second derivatives are equal is the second case, y is equal to e to the x.